Keely, how much better is your day when you have a South Dallin sandwich? You know what? We haven't had one for a while. And it's been about two weeks. No, I reckon maybe a month. What have no, we been I definitely having for had lunches? one two weeks ago. I haven't. We've, we've been scabbing out and just making our own lunch at home. Yes, but they are literally the best ever. I love them so much. I look forward to them. I savour them. They don't make sandwiches like they make them at South Dallin Sandwiches. And for those who haven't been, they're all around Sydney now, not just on South Dallin Street in Oh, they? I didn't know that. Yeah. Alexandria, there's one in the city. You can call up. You know, they're just the best sandwiches ever. What's your, my favourite at South Dallin? This is not an ad. We just yeah, I was are about obsessed to say, this is with actually these sandwiches. Not an ad. But they've got this one, the Brad Pitt. That's my favourite. Yeah. With this chicken schnitzel. Chicken schnitzel, caramelised carrots, beetroot. Oh, mushroom, the carrots? Like, like what do they do with the carrots? That's what I want to know. Yeah, but what does them. that mean? What does caramelised mean? Like cover them, marinate them, and then bake, bake them. But in honey? Is that what caramelised well, is? Whatever their secret recipe they is. They are beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I would say the Brad Pitt. I don't. Once I have an order, I don't really change it. I'm yeah. very I see. safe I've, try, with that. I've tried a few others, but that's definitely the best one. Yeah. Speaking of food. Actually, just going back to schnitzel, <laughs> I saw how you wrote it down on the note. Can you please smel- spell schnitzel? No, no, no. I you wanted know what? To, uh, you've written it down here. <laughs> okay. And I, I've laughed at it and then I haven't mentioned it until now. So go. Because then I'll, I'll tell everyone how you spelt it. Cooper's mentioned this to me before as well. He's seen it on the grocery list. If anybody finds my grocery list. <laughs> no one else can read it. No, I know. I chuck it straight out as soon as I'm done with it. Schnitzel. I, so go. That's a hard one. Schnitz. S-N-I-T-C-H-E-L. So wait. Zed. Schnitzel. <laughs> Zed in so there. on here you got pretty much what you've just said. S N I T. C H L E, Keely. What is it? It's like S C H N I T Z E L. One letter, two letters. That is so different. You've got N I like snitch, like <laughs> like you're a snitch, <laughs> snitch <laughs> without the Z. Well, that's how it's pronounced. Without the T H, schnitzel. <laughs> anyway, I just uh, thought that was funny. Going back to your spelling days, like yes, yeah, it's not great, but. I've got a question for you. Yeah? OG canteen food. Mm, that's a good one. In primary school? Okay, no, in high school we we had um, sweet chilli chicken burgers. Stop. Swear to God, they're two, they were $2.50. $2.50. That, that is, they don't do that anymore. They don't do that. I actually want to know if anyone is still in school right now, how much is your school canteen food? Well, I can tell you, mine rose significantly from the time I was in year seven to year 12. My favourite food was similar, but it's the best. So it was sweet chilli chicken schnitzel wrap. What they did, Mm. they'd get normal chicken schnitzel tenders. Then they'd get the Mersey Valley, Mersey Valley? Yeah, Mersey Valley. Sweet chilli cheese and they'd put it on a wrap and toast it. Wow. $4.50. Rose to seven dollars fifty by the time. Stop it! Yeah, Holy Spirit, you should be ashamed of yourself. That's criminal. I know. You don't even get any change for a tenner. That's that used to feed the fam. I know, but they They're probably were probably twelve bucks now. Elite. They were so good, and they did even shrink in size by the time I was in year twelve too. <laughs> they were used to be <laughs> large wraps. Not anymore. They're medium sized wraps. Right. But that was that was my OG, and in primary school, my mm. gosh. Jelly Joys. I would buy 50 at a time. Jelly Joys. Oh, they are the best ever, Millie. You'd get them slightly frozen and... We didn't have those. We didn't have them at Cora. They're really good. You missed out. They're cheap as a five cents a pop. So to get like 50 of them <laughs> and um, <laughs> and I would bribe my friends with it. Oh. Say, come on, you're going to come play soccer? I'll give you three Jelly Joys. <laughs> you weren't playing soccer. You were too busy eating at the I was playing eating. red butt. <laughs> Come on, girls, let's play red butt. I'll give you five jelly joys. Oh, far out, like your contra. Yep. Oh, God, that yep. is too funny. And people would pay me to braid their hair with money for jelly joys. Oh, God. So there's a nice little, also, little thing going on. Also, just on with the food trend, can you tell me about your ritual on a Thursday night, what you used to do with your dad and your brothers, pizza? Well, it started off with pizza. <laughs> I would just order the takeaway pizza. It's not that special. I'm sure everybody does that. No, but like the fact that you were what, 
nine years old and ate like two whole pizzas I know, to yourself. I know. I I was like overweight when I was little, <laughs> like pretty bad. I would eat a whole Domino's pizza with deep pan by myself and then I'd sp- finish off my 10 year old brothers like he was 10 years older than me (laughs) he couldn't finish a whole pizza so I'd finish off his slices too and then dad went to night shift and sometimes I'd sneak his bloody lunch food I don't know how I thought he wouldn't notice he was going to work and taking it for lunch so I'm like and you ate his food after you just ate that pizza and a half so I'd literally have a pizza and a half at like eight nine ten eleven years old yep oh and still burning it off (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> anyway, that's why I went on Russians when I was 10. And that's why she wanted to li- – you were just getting ready to win the biggest loser. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Anyway. Oh, love that. A little bit off topic. I love that. A little bit off topic, but when is it not? Um, we left off last week with wanting to go and look, and look at, at the apartment. Oh, yes. In Bondi. Oh, yes. Look, we did a little – we had a few in mind, but that was like one we were really excited about. And let me just say they kind of catfished us – it wasn't what it seemed to be. We rocked up out the front and it was a full construction site. Like you could, it was just, it was already loud. We turned, we left. I can't believe people could live there. No, I genuinely, and for what, $1,500 a week, that is ridiculous. Yeah. You'd be woken up at 7am, absolute jackhammering. And the, all the balconies were closed, like blocked in, like there was no light and we were like, no. Nah. But, but if you read my back, everything happens for a reason. Millie's favourite quote. That is the shittest quote ever. And a better one has popped up. A better one has popped up, but that's not because everything happens for a reason. That's because we were persistent and we found one. And we found one in Coogee. So we are now going to be Coogee locals. No, you can't say it until we definitely get it. Okay, well, it's 95%. Guaranteed. I'm not getting my hopes up. As soon as it's fully done, I'll be happy, but we're not there yet. So I'm not saying I'm a Coogee girl Look, yet. Well, but I went to the inspection and I've bribed them with whatever they want, like footy-wise, if they want anything, you know. Well, hopefully they're at Rooster's supporters. Yeah. I don't think that will help us, but, you know, I don't know, maybe. The other people, she said there was supposed to be more people turn up and they didn't turn up, so. Anyway, I do feel confident. Yeah. Feel very confident. But it's literally ideal. Furnished, everything sorted. Could you close to training, close to the beach. Yeah. I'm really excited about I cannot that. Wait. So next week we'll be able to fully let you know whether we've gotten there. Yes. We might even be living there by Not then. that anyone cares. We're just letting you we'll let you know. A little update. Keep you updated. Yes. Yeah. But I'm really excited about that. Liv's really excited. Liv Koenig's moving in with us. Coming down from Queensland, the Gold Coast. Yep. So it'll be nice. We'll be. We're going to be early nighters and early morningers. Love it. Um, Okay. We've got a new little segment that's come in um, because like each week we do a whole new segment that has totally no relation to the week before. Um, And this one is one that Keely really wanted. I don't even have anything. Keely has been like, let's do this, let's do this. And I'm like, okay, like we can do it, but I don't really have anything to say to that. So this is your chance to vent, Keely. Okay. And it is words or things that give Keely Davis the ick. Let's go. Okay. This is one that you do? I do. Yes. <laughs> go. It's not the ick. It's just like, ugh, like <laughs> okay. makes me feel not good. I didn't know this was a <laughs> bag out session. No, 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 lots of people do it. I just, Okay. Kombucha? What the hell makes kombucha? Those Scooby things? What the hell are they? Oh, okay. Sorry, mother drinker. Are you serious? You're bagging me out for drinking kombucha. I'm bagging you out for the Scoobies in kombucha. Have you seen those things? They're um, like live probiotics. You're too busy harping on your sugar, your sugar-free. Sugar? Yeah, your sugar-free mothers that have like 8,000 milligrams of caffeine. And like fake sugars. I have a kombucha. Adam and I probably have a kombucha every night, like nearly every night. If we're having dinner together, we'll have a kombucha every night. Yeah. I love them. Anyway, my personal makes me feel icky. So you're drinking a lot. Those things have been in there for how long? And they just sit there. Oh, uh, your mothers have been sitting in a petrol station for like It's not a live thing. I don't care. That's fine. <laughs> you're so defensive about this. 
I do get defensive, but like whatever. I'm just trying to have a little. Okay, if we're having an if we're having an attack now, I'm going to come back at you. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just saying <laughs> it makes me feel queasy, like knowing that's okay, a live no thing. No, to do not have kombucha in front <laughs> of Kili. Yeah, it's more just the thought of the scoobies in there. You can drink your kombucha as long as you don't pay me out yeah, for you my monster. Shake it. I don't pay you out for drinking your own star. I'm just doing that now. Yes. Anyway, I say I've been off them for a little bit. It's been over a week. Oh, my God. Are you having withdrawals? No. I've been having plenty of coffee. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is one that's posted a lot on Instagram. Okay. It's not new, but I'm just over it. Photo dump. Photo dump. Don't like it. Get rid of it. I'm sick of seeing it. Pretty sure I've posted it, but I'm just <laughs> <laughs> stop it. Stop. Every like time I say people, it, just yeah. put like five photos. I'm like, don't call it photo dump. Well, like they're I don't, just trying to fit in, Gilly. They no one, not everyone can be as cool as you. What no, do you want them to say? You know what? People are sheep. <laughs> people are sheep. You know wow, what you said? You said really about this spicy workout thing weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, I don't really like that. I've seen it everywhere. I know. Since. I'm everywhere. like, come up with your, come up with your own word. Like, was it a hard workout? You know? Yeah. You just see it. Bang, and then it's in the back of your head and you use it. Yeah. Just trends, man. Trends. All right, next one. Oh, you got another one. Nice. Oh, I've got a We're few still more. still going. Core memory. Yep. I hate that. I hate that. God. Core memory. As like, wait, I feel like it's fine for people to say in context, like, oh, that was a core memory. What? Yeah, I think that's okay. Are yeah, people posting? Are you talking about posting it? Yes, and, and saying like, core memory. They've got those little star emojis, and it's like, um, like kicking the kicking the ball with dad. Core memory. Like what? Who do you follow? <laughs> is, is this your archives <laughs> that you've already posted? That is something you would do. No, it wouldn't. And I'm pretty sure you going to the oval doing kicks with your dad is a core memory. Yeah, I'm but just I'm not saying call you do it a that. Core memory. So it's yeah. a good childhood little memory. <laughs> you still do it now. Cool memory. <laughs> I just hate that saying. I hate it. Oh. Next thing. Oh. This is my last one. This is just very okay. – I've noticed it. Yeah. When people go to kick a football and they throw it up a little bit before they <laughs> kick it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do that. Oh, you do. <laughs> I was running yesterday and I had to put a kick in at the last minute – and it was the most unco thing I've ever done in my life. You put it up. And it Wait, was a is, bad is ball training? drop. It was a – yes, you remember? Oh, yeah, it was It really was a bad, bad bo- yeah, yeah. ball drop and I, I think I threw it up a little bit. Oh, right. it made me feel sick. But I've seen plenty of people post-try celebrations throw the ball up and try kick it. Oh, it makes me oh, laugh. Oh, in a po- – yeah, but that's different if it's in a post-try. So like that's like – No, it's still bad They're throwing technique. it up and then like their head go, their foot goes over their head. You can't be doing – yeah. And then kicking. That well, is, they're excited. Like they're not thinking about doing a good kick. I know, but it still shows your athleticism and that it's just icky. Icky, oh icky. God. I don't like it. I actually didn't think you were so judgy. I thought you were a really nice person. I'm not judgy. These are just things that have been irking me for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Nice to know. Well, do you, okay, do you have any? Do you I have genuinely leak? don't have any. So like oh. I will. What? There's pl- I reckon I've heard you complain about things a billion times. You're telling me nothing icks you. Okay, so when people are eating and then, like, I don't care if you're still eating, you almost need to wipe your mouth every time you have a bite. If you've got food on your mouth or in between your lip, like the corners of your mouth. We've had this discussion. Just leave it until you finish eating. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know we'd had this conversation and you were on the other side of it. Mm-hmm. No, you need to, if you're having a conversation with someone, if you're having a food, if you're eating in private, Sweet, do what you like. But if you're like eating with someone <laughs> and you got food in the corner of your mouth, that's got to go every time. Depends who it is. If it's you, I'm not wiping it. I'm just like whatever. If it's a meeting with somebody important, of course I'm well, like. If you're meeting with someone important, you're not eating. Healy, what meetings are you having? <laughs> what if it's at lunchtime? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have lunch before stuff. you go or afterwards. <laughs> uh, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you have it there. So you just leave it sitting. No, I don't. I'll wipe it for that. But if it's you, Cooper, mum, dad, I'm leaving it and then no. just. I it just it annoys after. me. I'm like, you just like it literally takes one second. Wipe your mouth. Can I say one other thing? Oh, yeah. You might need to cut this because I don't know if it will offend you. <laughs> it probably will. <laughs> go. <laughs> You know, when you do the hair thing? The hair thing? 
Oh my god. Can I just say <laughs> that is fucked. Can I say it? I've had yeah, I've had to do it before. So <laughs> no. I've had to in dire I'm talking dire straits. I floss every night. Okay. This is gross. But like I'll rip a hair off and then I will use it to get something out of my tooth. She did it while we were eating the other day. Um, yeah, because she's it, worried about the food on my face. <laughs> she's there so, like this. Okay. I've with got, her hair. I get this thing stuck in my tooth and it annoys. Like I, I, someone will be talking to me and I'm like, I can't think. I just need to get this out of my tooth because I need to go back to the dentist and get something done. And food gets stuck there. I haven't had to do that since I saw you. So like, I'm very glad because it was traumatic for you, obviously. Pick list. But I tell you what I will recommend. I have a water pick. Top water notch. Pick. Yeah, it's like a water flosser. It's the yeah. high pressure one. Oh, yeah. I saw that at your house. Yes, because I have um, like a wire on the back of my teeth. So yes, it just, yes, yes, yes. It's high pressure. Do bang, you have bang, a bang, straight bang. wire or a zigzag wire? Straight wire. Yeah. And I knocked it up for you. Nah, get the zigzag. Dangling. I've got the zigzag. You can you can floss normally. Okay. Anyway, sorry. That was um, off off chat. Um, anyway, let's get into some footy. Yes. Um, still not much happening in the women's space. It's coming up though. I think it's yeah, last actually, six weeks. Origin number one. Yeah, is. five days. Actually, speaking of origin, um, and I will just say we are not assuming that we are going to make the team at all. We are in the squad and we're just talking as spectators yes, of the sport. Just general just chit-chat. general shit chit shit chit chat <laughs> around origin and women's footy. So I think um, I want to get your thoughts on what you think about the first origin mm-hmm. being played at Suncorp. At s- sorry, I want to get your thoughts on the first origin. It's at Suncorp, opening game of Magic Round. So there's no men's footy on the Thursday because they save it all for the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and on the Thursday night we are the only game. Look, it's there's so many pros and cons. I don't even I don't know even know where I sit with it. What do you reckon? I think it's a like really exciting opportunity for the game to be on that platform. Yeah. And having so many people in and around the town to come and watch yeah. the game. I think the only negative is that it's the first game of the year and it's not like there's been NRLW beforehand mm. where you're training with high quality and you have those reps under your belt. Um so the standard might not be there as it has been in the years gone by. Um, so that's probably one of the cons. But I just think it's a huge opportunity if the quality is good yeah. that those casual viewers will watch and hopefully I just really hope the quality is good because yeah. then if they see Origin at its best, they'll they'll love the game. Yeah. Like I have no doubts about that. It's just if we can get that quality yeah. at a good standard, which – it's going to be really hard without NRLW. Yeah. And or just like any foot, like Queensland have been playing their local comp. Yes. Um, you've been going up and playing in that. Some people have been going up and playing in it. But for the majority of people in New South Wales, there's no footy. So we've just been training mm-hmm. as a squad, which has been good. But like there's only so much training you can yeah. do to replicate a game. And I'm really excited. It's the first time that there's been three games for Women's Origin and like I said, I'm saying this as a spectator because one game's not enough, two doesn't make sense and three just Mm -hmm. it just is what like that's what Origin is. So I'm so excited about that and it is such a great platform for the game to be on that opening night of Origin, um, sorry, opening night of Magic Crown but you just – I look at the performance from last year yeah. in the first Origin game and it was just so disappointing oh. as a player and as a spectator I can imagine like you could, you would never expect men to just play an Origin game without playing any footy, like any real footy for like over six months, yeah. like without trial games or anything oh. and it's just scary. Well, like it's, it's, like, it's disappointing it's unknown last year. too. Like yeah. last year... Every single player still speaks about Origin in like a negative light that yeah. first game because we're like, can't be bad as Origin won last that, year like yeah. when, when there's a bad game because it was just at such a poor level. Yeah. Um, and, and having it was, such it was, a big... It was wet, like the yeah. conditions, like it just wasn't... It was so poor mm. and it was just like disappointing that we if, obviously work hard as a playing group and like as an overall sport and to put that display on, it's like, oh, we're so much better than that. Yeah. So... 
I just hope like this year it's good. Yeah, I hope so too. Lucky there's three games. Yes. But, yeah. Yes. Um, anyway, it'll be coming around quick. You got to go? I've got to go soon, but that's all right. We have to cut the cut the potty a little bit shorter this week because I'm just – You're too in busy. Between, in between You're a lot of things busy. today. And um, actually – James and Charlie were doing the podcast as we walked in and they had a few takes because they were... Turns out, Keely, everyone makes mistakes. Yeah. Even great podcasters like Charlie and James. Well, Charlie didn't make too many. He didn't have to say too much. He was just chiming in a little bit. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone gets stuck (laughs) on some words, you know. Mm. So we didn't get to be in as early as we'd like. Charlie, I'm not having a dig. I'm just saying be I better. do have to leave soon and be better next time. <laughs> have we got five minutes? No. Yes, we do, okay. of course. Go. It's now round six of the men's comp. Yes. I want to ask you, who's in your top eight, Millie, finishing the year off? Finishing the year off. We're actually pretty similar. You know what? I know it's only round six and it's so hard to say what teams – will be there like it's you reckon? very early yes because like scrap them gone you, gone like gone. i just think there there's some teams you think okay i don't think you'll be there but there is some there's probably like you could have like a top 12 that you, you think know? are oh, that in are contention prote- yeah yeah top 12 yeah. that you wouldn't say oh yeah i wouldn't say that you yeah know? but i have got i think we're pretty similar to yeah care. you read yours okay so I have Panthers, Roosters, Broncos, Raiders, Warriors, Storm, Manly, Cowboys. Yep. And I feel offended uh, because you haven't included Yes, Knights sorry, and Adam. Like whatever you came to, like our wedding and everything. So not much more support there. I just, so. I don't know, really. What, uh, what are your concerns? Go. I don't, I don't see them progressing as much as they, they need to year. to make... Top eights, I know, but I just think Kaylin literally was so good last year. And who's winning? Who's leading the Dalian leaderboard right now? Is Kaylin? Yeah. Is. And how are they going? <laughs> just as good as anyone else right now. <laughs> oh, I just think there's too much chopping and changing in the yeah, halves. You chopping need and a changing set. early is okay. You reckon? Because I it's reckon better than s- round twenty. I reckon a stable team does good things. Yeah. And it's just a bit too much change for my liking. Somebody's got to go and it's them. And evidence suggests that a team from the top eight the year before gets flicked and that's my team that I'm flicking. I reckon Adam's going to have a good year. You I just are think brutal. Knights are not good. Well, it's just no, okay. it's what's been displayed. Yeah, okay, right. Okay, we've had five rounds for you. Anyway, um, look, I am very similar except I'm putting Knights in over cows. That's bold. Yeah. Oh, geez, it's in my opinion. Like, <laughs> that's a bold you're a choice. No, nope. okay. I can't wait for Knights and Cowboys to play. <laughs> <laughs> they have already played. <sighs> Golden Point. We actually went to Golden Point. Oh, I didn't even get to see that one. It wasn't a great game, but Adam yeah. did score two tries. Yes. Told you he'll play well, but <laughs> Knights just won't win. <laughs> Sorry, have you, been, have you seen a psychic about this or something? <gasps> no, but speaking of which, I will be seeing a psychic this week, so I'll you update you. You need to stop seeing a psychic so much. I see one every six months. No, I saw it's three months. I saw a palm reader. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> Slightly different. Okay. Anyway. I think I'm actually due to, so I'm going to go see one. I haven't seen one in over a year. I have some recommendations for you okay, with it, but anyway. Right. Well, guys, short and sweet. We'll leave it with that. Thanks so much for listening. And, and up, 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 up. shout out to Isabel Kelly's yes. mother-in-law. Thank Isabel, you okay. Long story short, Izzy Kelly's mother-in-law, so Jake's mum, put up this photo <laughs> to sell something on Marketplace and in the background... She was watching up front on the television. And shout out, she's a buy, um, buy around. She's a uh, marketplace user as well. She's a marketplace user and like an upfront woman. listener. We need, we need her on the show. Absolutely. Is this even a show? No. <laughs> but to tell you who we will get on the show, the podcast, Izzy Kelly. Yeah. She's our next guest. And when I say next guest, our only guest. <laughs> guest number two. I feel like Izzy's one of those... There's so much to her that mm. not many people know. But we don't want to get too deep. We just want to see the fun, lighthearted Izzy Kelly. Yep. I reckon she'll let me read her cards. 
Maybe we'll save that for another day. Anyway, guys, that about wraps us up. Thanks again. And we'll be back next week, hopefully, coming to you live from Coogee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>